just an incredible day. Thank you very much, Aaron. Um, just in the past year alone, trade between Canada and Ireland was up $0.7 billion. That's what ours do with our comprehensive economic treatment trade agreement. But since 2008, there's over 100,000 young Irish people that have moved over to Canada. And the volume or the size of the population of Vancouver, I think, is becoming predominantly Irish. <laughs> in that uh, the government of Ireland is going to open up a second embassy, a consul uh, embassy in Vancouver. I'm just wondering, uh, with those types of numbers, and like Vancouver sitting there, and I heard this thing, we have to temper our ambition. And I'm just wondering, uh, when I see low-hanging fruit like that for, for Aer Lingus, uh, how you go about contemplating and, and, and figuring out how you will pick that up to join our hub strategy. Thank you, Ambassador. Well, I can confirm that we, we, we haven't finished yet in terms of our ambition in Canada. Uh, it is a, a very competitive marketplace, and I think that has contributed uh, to the growing economic and social links between our two countries. Uh, there has been significant uh, immigration to Canada in recent years, uh, when Canada provided an opportunity that didn't exist at all. The open uh, approach of Canada is very much, I believe, shared in terms of uh, Ireland's worldview. And uh, we're in the business of connecting people. Uh, and we see considerable opportunity. Uh, Vancouver uh, is an obvious candidate. Uh, and it was a very close call in terms of our last decision for West Coast. Uh, we are very confident that we will offer something new to the Montreal market. We are serving not just uh, Dublin and Ireland from Montreal, but the level of connectivity that we will offer, particularly to regional France, with its strong ties to, to Montreal, is something that currently isn't there to the market. And that's when Simon was, was referring to the aggregation. These are new opportunities. So yes, there will be a significant number of Canadian citizens using Dublin travel to France, but there will be a significant number of French citizens using those services to come through Dublin to Canada and Irish and Canadian residents and citizens uh, traveling. That's what our business does. The fact that it is good for all of the citizens of both economies I think, is, is an added advantage. Uh, 